Today I will show you how you can easily create a heat vision effect in Photoshop. So let's do it. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this heat vision effect from Superman's eyes, but because I couldn't find a free Superman image, I will do that with an Iron Man. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, this is our photo for today and actually I changed the background because this was the original photo and you can find the link down in the description if you want to download this photo, it's from Pixabay and I just changed the background and put the Iron Man in front of this cool sky just for fun. Okay, so to create a heat vision from the eyes it's really simple and easy way to do it, you can make it more complex or less complex. So the basic idea is just to create a new layer and to create a heat vision, the laser, laser vision uh, path where how that will actually look. So for that I will use the pen tool and I will zoom here and just start creating a path here. So something like this, then a little bit wider, probably here, oops, here, here, and come back inside there and click it right there. Then I will press Ctrl and Enter to turn this into selection and choose brighter color, so something like pinkish, pinkish bright color and I will press Alt and Backspace or Option and Backspace on the Mac to fill the selection, something like this. Then I will make a copy of this laser beam basically with Ctrl or Command J, move it right here and rotate it, Ctrl or Command T, just rotate it put it here so there are two laser beams, maybe something like this one will go, maybe something like here, it's your own preference and this looks cool, let's just move it right there and that's it, we are done. I hope that you like this really cool and easy way how to, no I'm just joking, this is just a start, so let's go back. It's like that, I will select both of them, press Ctrl or Command E to merge them together and uh, I will blur them a little bit, so filter blur, Gaussian blur and here we can choose any kind of radius but if you want to change it back later when we add a few more effects in the top it's much smarter to convert this into a smart object so right click convert to smart object and then apply filter blur Gaussian blur and beauty of this is that if we do it too much or less than we wanted we can always double tap on this and go back and change it so let's go with something like this for a start. Then the next thing is just to create several empty layers, actually one by one, and change some blending mode. So here I will go with linear dodge blending mode, go with darker red color, so red, darker red, and choose a brush, so go with uh, brush, right click I will use this soft round brush and uh, opacity around 30%, it's okay. And what I will do here, I will create, click, hold shift and click here, then just holding the shift and go all the way around like this, so I'm just holding the shift and painting all the way like this and I can do the same here but I will go with a 50% just to make everything a little bit more faster, but you know me, I like to go with lower percentage values. So this is pretty cool, It's we are not there yet but this is, this is for a start, I will rename this, this to laser beam. Okay, and these are the effects that we will put at the top. So I will go again with another, another layer, but this time I will go with a color dot, just to add a little bit more color here. So as you can see, I will go a little bit wider and maybe 20% opacity and just click, 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 do the same thing. So here, exactly the same thing and uh, this needs to be at zero, so you want really really soft brush. Then you can just create another layer and repeat this process until you're satisfied with the result. I will go with a little bit more orangey look, a little bit brighter and just add here with maybe 20%, just add here more orangey like it's more heat generated directly from the eyes, like this and then go with another layer and even make it brighter again color dodge and even brighter like that and just go right there rest here and 
this looks pretty nice. Okay, then another layer, linear dodge, and you can play with different shades of this reddish tone. So something like this, probably 10% opacity, and I will just make here brighter and brighter. And also what I want to do, I just want to go here where the laser beam is and click and add curves adjustment layer. Clip it affect only that and I can make it brighter so that like this center part is really bright and really heated so it's almost white. But also if you want you can make it darker if this is the look that you're actually chasing. So depends what kind of effect you want to achieve. Maybe here this looks good too. It's completely up to you guys or, or maybe something even brighter and then then to add let me see if we have something here yeah to add another layer again linear dodge and i will go with again really dark red color and add even more effect right here okay and also we can later add a few more colors to the suits or uh, of iron man but you can apply exactly the same thing on superman or any other superhero that you want also what i want to do here is to create another layer and uh, paint with exactly the same linear dodge blending mode but a bit brighter color so brighter red color here around the eyes like there is a lot of lights generated around this especially here on the helmet as you can see perfect and again just build the effect just add more and more layers and make the colors brighter the brighter color means that it's more heat around it so i'll go inside here as you can see like it's more heat and you, you can change the brushes it doesn't need to be just soft round brush i can go with my, my custom made cloud brush for this this could be really cool just to have more imperfections in in this i will show you really quickly i can go something like it's, it's some crazy effect maybe 10 percent and then go back to this layer where i used darker reddish color and just add even more reddish tone here and why not let's create another one and go with again darker red tone it will go more further away here like some crazy heat effect this looks so cool so i really like it and this is basically the matter of your taste however you want to make it you can go even further and uh, play with this and do a lot of cool things you can also create a new layer and go again with some really nice color and go all the way here and add even more wider reddish tone just like he's hitting something you can add even more smoke and depends of the composite you're doing depends of effect you want to have overall but this is pretty cool we can also let's do another layer so many layers in linear dodge blending mode but you cannot do just in one linear dodge blending mode layer because it will not make that cool effect you need to build the effect one at the top of another so this is why i have so many layers but i will group them into one group we can go and uh, let's choose soft round brush and just generate maybe a few lights here on the suit if we want we can make it right here and i will not make this perfect now guys because of the time sake of this tutorial this is just me having fun and showing you this technique you can also make this brighter like that create another layer and again linear dodge brighter color more orangey and more inside here as you can see then again brighter color more towards the orange and yellow even brighter and inside right there and something like that and like that you can play even more and make this really cool effect if you want if you don't want you can just go with the eyes however you want but this is basically the final result let's collapse all of it actually select all of this and uh, press ctrl command g to make a group this is the effect and this is before this is after it's really cool you can make it even better if you spend a little bit more time invest a little bit more time and just add a few more these lights effects here and there and make it even more awesome so this is it guys really fast easy and uh, simple tutorial but this is really cool effect 
you can add it in so many different ways. You can make it like heat vision for superhero scene. You can make it for like a lightsaber effect. You can be crazy with this. It doesn't need to be just a straight line. You can make some cool text even out of this effect. Whatever you want, it's up to your creativity. If you have any question, questions regarding to this effect, to this tutorial, please leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Also guys, I just released my first photo manipulation essentials course so you can find the link down there in the description check it out if you want to learn all that you need to know in order to create realistic eye-catching believable photo manipulation right guys that's it for today have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode bye bye